Welcome back. I am back with part two of this magnificent game, as I call Quantum Corundum. Well, it's called like that, but... As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Hey, what, what did you see? So, if I push... Oh, wait, I can't. Woo. This is what enables you to slip it's, between it's like dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Uh, I'll need to tune that later. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. It gives them an extra kick. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. What? Uh, I think he meant break the glass, I think. Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. Oh. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy that I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hey, look, it's one of those things. Chipmunks. 
case I saw it in the trailer. Um, Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. What the hell? <laughs> Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. Okay. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. That's very nice. My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the underground railroad. Sometimes laziness should be indulged. You got it, Doc. a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. Are you in hell? Uh, yeah, I think you're in hell. Oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck, bum. Here's your This giant spider. A fluffy journey of discovery. Why? Well, at least avoid impaling yourself horribly. It's bad enough the glass needs to be tidied up.
This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. No! Okay. My safe. I'm gonna call you safety. Yes, you're safe with the hand of me. still completely baffles me. With these specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intriguing results. Uh, Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. Man, you got a big house. Like, it's so big. Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or heavy for short. This dimension is in direct opposition to the fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. Whoa. Everything's so metally. Oh, it's birthday. Do 
Do I get 10 times W or something? He's been the shot side. Give him some time to get used to you. Oh, yeah. Now just imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful. Well, since I don't have a fucking hood on. <laughs> of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. Okay. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or heavy for short. I this dimension is in direct opposition to the fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. <laughs> I think it's... oh. Washing? He's a bit on the shy side. Give him some time to get used to you. Uh, it's time for me to like stop right here. And uh, I hope you watch on Mark Street. This game is really fun, actually. Just uh, a little bit of but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you watch Mark Street. Goodbye.